Yo. Okay. So it's been a little bit too long since I posted anything. So let's get back in the mix. I've been playing some more PLO. Really enjoying it. Running pretty good lately. And uh, I happened to notice a new geocache just kind of came up in the neighborhood. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's take a look. <clears throat> okay, one thing I like to do is look at the activity. Very first thing, see if it's been found or not found. If 10 people in a row haven't found it, it's not worth going to look. So, looks like it's been found last on October 25th. And uh, here, here we are in December. Um, looks like it's, uh, you know, kind of hard to get to. Let's go check it out, and then while we're there, let's, let's play a little quick PLO session. Let's roll. Man, this is way too cold. It's like 25 degrees out here. Let's make this love last till Valentine's Let's spend this night together Let this fire burn inside our hearts Let us soak in all the pleasure This is about as, as nerdy as it gets, but uh, we're only 196 feet away. Let's go. Let's go get it. And uh, actually, I, I, I don't, I like looking at the hints, you know. I mean, I just jump right into the hint. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not here to just mess around all day. So the hint, uh, it says hanging four feet up in a pill bottle. So it's probably attached to a tree or something. And uh, let's see if we can find it. Now that the rain is slowly bitter packed We are lost inside our lover's nest We don't need the world, we just need us What if we'd stay like this forever? These wine-colored days, summer is gone <laughs> There it is Deep cold velvet nights when we are See it? There it is. It's a nice little bottle. I'm not even going to open it up, but uh, you know, there's a there's usually a pencil in there, some paper. You could put your name, initials on it. Um, but yeah, it's about four feet off the ground um, in a pill bottle. Pretty easy, just not too far off the. Uh, some people were leaving comments saying it was hard to get to, but I mean, maybe in the spring when these. Weeds are a little bit uh, higher, but uh, I'll go ahead and uh, make a log in the note and uh, and uh, now let's go let's go play some PLO. We'll find a park bench over here and just play a quick uh, thirty minute session. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, and uh, we're gonna hop on this uh, one two PLO. Here we are. We've been running hot. Let's see if we can keep it up. We buy in for the max. 200. 100 big blinds. And uh, let's get into some hands. Got a double suited hand. There's some connectivity between the suits a little bit. Uh, none of the nut suits. But when the flop comes basically three pair, I'm going to fire out. Deny some e equity, a lot of straight draws out there, not too many good turn cards. And that's that's a good one there. Now I have four pair, actually. That's pretty funny. We're going to go ahead and just pot it. First guy folds, and second guy, he tank folds. All right. Take, take a little one down there. Um, all, all, we got a raise with all the same suits. You don't really want to play those. I'll get out of there. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, we got a raise up there. I, I got pocket nines, but that's a raise from early position too. I'm going to just get out of there. Basically, I'll just be set mining. He shows he's raising with not a whole lot. 
Okay, here's some connectivity. Blind versus blind. I'll go ahead and bump it up. I don't really have a whole lot going with some backdoor hearts. I go ahead and bet two thirds pot. Still don't have anything going. Um, I kind of give up, check. And then I decide to go for it on the river. Seems kind of fishy. And uh, we pot it. And what do you know? Get raised. I mean, he's probably got the nuts. That's what usually happens. So we're out of there. We, we tried. It probably wasn't the most, the strongest line that I took. Probably didn't make a whole lot of sense. Now we're three handed. You can play pretty wide ranges when you're three handed. I got uh, on the button, you should pretty much play probably every hand. Pocket nines here. Flops trash, I could see bet. It'll probably check to me. And I do. I bet half pot. We get a call. And a fold. Okay, so now I, I got some spades going. So I kind of want to deny some equity and maybe build a pot and, and hopefully, you know, push a fold here. He, he sees me bet twice and raise preflop. And he calls. Eight comes... Now here's interesting, um, interesting play when he leads for a third pot. I'm thinking the only way I can win this is, is just jam. Which look looks super strong. And what what is he really repping? This is really risky play because you know I've gotten snapped so many times, but it's worth a shot. And he snap folds. So we take down a nice one. I'm not really sure what the reasoning was behind that. I mean he's probably. I mean, I guess he could even have folded like a small two pair or something, thinking I had top set. I guess I was kind of rep repping like three kings. So uh, I thought that play was pretty interesting, and it worked out that time. Okay, so we check it down here. This is not really worth showing. Okay, three-handed. Going to gonna raise it up with really any pocket pair above nines and flops nothing really going on um, let's see if I do a continuation bet only played nine hands uh, okay he leads he's one of the tighter players and we're out of there looking up some stats on this guy he's running cold he's not raising pre-flop hardly at all Okay, here's a beautiful hand, but unfortunately, it folds to me. I, I love those kind of double suited with the, with a the nut suit in there. Okay, so he bumps it up um, on the button. I flop pretty good here. Don't really want three hearts. I'm taking one of my outs away. And then he, he leads for about 75% pot. I got top pair. I should probably be calling, but there's a player behind, and I'm out of position. I decided to let it go. Let me know what you think on that one. And I do end up turning two pair, and he goes pot again. And uh, I believe he calls, and then he leads the river. He shot, or he leads the river, just tiny compared to the pot, but he's only leaving himself $32. And uh, and he folds, so we don't get to see what, what he had. All right, here I am again with pocket tens. Raise it up. I get three bet here. This is interesting. Um, probably should just let it go, but, I mean, what a beautiful flop here. He's pretty much just... I should make a note that he, he only raised 3% of the time. So a three bet, he's pretty much always has aces, and he's playing it like it, too, just checking it down. I should probably be potting it, but the thing is, sometimes they uh, they call it down too, just just aces. So that's unfortunate. I couldn't hit any of those outs. Um, so that was a pretty big chunk. All right, I'm double suited here. I'm probably gonna raise it up. Flop comes pretty decent. I mean, I got the diamonds. It's low diamonds, but it's three-handed too. You got to remember. And I bet, and we get a fold. 
Okay, Ace-942. This one was interesting. Ace-942 got the suited to the clubs. I'm going to raise it up, four-handed on the button. And uh, not the best flop, but we do have top pair, crappy kickers. Uh, we decided to check it. Six comes. So here we are with just with an ace. I think I'm going to just see if I can weed anybody out. Get one caller. He only has $39 behind, and he shoves. So he's probably repping the spades, but I hit two pair on the river. It's, you know, the, the worst two pair. I mean, not the worst, but the worst ace with the, with the two pair. And um, I decided to let it go. I mean, I don't know how many bluffs he has. All right, so here I have some jacks. Raise it up under the gun. And uh, I kind of just chicken out here. And I check... And then he bets half pot, and I just, I kind of just give up. All right, this is a pretty connected hand. It's rainbow. Be nice to have some suits in there, but it's worth a flop call. So we call it. This one's an interesting hand. Let me know what you think of this. So I flop open ended with top pair. I could lead right here. I check. It checks around. Now I have two pair. And, uh, I mean, there's obviously there's the, the straight. I block the seven, but not the nine. Um, and he just, he, into two players, he ra he basically pots it, and he leaves $23 behind. I know I have outs, but the fact that he only has 23 behind, even if I hit, I'm not going to really get paid a whole lot. So I just decided to let it go. Plus, you don't want to see any spades in the river, and he probably has nine, seven. All right, beautiful hand right here. I could I could three bet this hand. Let's see what I do. I, I do. I three bet it, and we get a call and a fold. Flop comes two spades. It's just a nine high flush draw, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply pressure and I pot it. He doesn't think too long and makes the fold. So that was a nice uh, outcome there. Picked up a a decent pot. Here we are on the button. That's garbage. We're not going to play that. Okay, so they bump it up to nine. We have pocket sevens, and we don't hit our seven, but we hit a five. So we're going to see if a wolf, Wolves will three or C bet. He doesn't, so we lead on the turn, and uh, they both fold, and he even shows aces. So good fold by him, and we take it down. All right, now we're in the big blind two pair. And uh, he raises it up. Nah, it's worth seeing if I can flop a set. But these are dangerous because you can get set over set. I mean, these are the lowest pairs out there. And uh, nothing happens, so I, I bounce when he pretty much almost pots it. We got a call over there. Let's see how this pans out here. Wow, he's going for it. Is he going to call? He's got half his money in there. gets it through I think he shows yep he had the straight and he had a jack too I mean he plays pretty solid he doesn't he doesn't really punt his money very often all right so we're up like 31 bucks I was looking back at that hand all right so dingle dongle he raises it up we got a pretty nice hand I've seen better but this ain't bad five-handed on the button you get the old three bet I don't like to fold I'll be su surprised if I fold. And I call. And looks... Okay, so this... If he's got aces or something, this really could be a scary flop. I mean, kind of smashes my range. I decide to start building the pot right here with really nothing. But half pot saying, you know, hey, I could have... I do have a blocker with a nine to a straight... And even if he has aces, he might not want to mess with this because he knows probably another big bet's coming on the turn. And uh, he lets it go. So that's, that's a nice pickup. All right, here we are with the pocket fives and a, a suited ace. Surprised it didn't raise there, to be honest. In a good position. So I limp. Let's see what happens smash the full house but it's it's kind of on the low end of the full house if anybody has a 10 they might hit one of their danglers and and uh, it's over so i feel like you do got to put some money in and i do and uh everybody folds 
Okay, here we are. Pocket Aces in the big blind. Pretty much a mandatory three bet. So he raises from the button, pretty standard. I three bet. Chances are we'll get one of them to fold. And uh, we do. Flop, I mean, I, I think that's a pretty good flop. I could probably be firing out some, but I do more of a pot control. I check it. Now I pick up diamonds. And uh, I actually bet with the diamond, and I hit the diamond. It's not the, the biggest. I should probably try to go for some value here, but I ended up checking. And uh, he just shows, uh, what's he got? A pair? Yeah. So, uh, of course, he's probably not calling a river bet, or he might raise, and, and that's going to be a tough spot. All right, suited ace. Definitely going to play this hand. Got an early lead from Donkey Land. And we make the call. Let's see if little bro comes in. He folds. Okay, so we flop top, top. Um, easily beatable, though. And uh, now I think I'm going to start putting some money in there. So I do have top pair with the best kicker. And then when I hit the eight on the river... I'm going to go for some value. Really, ace kings the only thing I'm, or ace tens the only thing I'm worried about. And he calls with, with two pair. He's got tens and eights. So that was a nice, uh, nice pickup. Okay, on the button with five, eight, nine, ten. We'll limp in there. We have two pair. But when somebody bets, I get out of there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. So just a quick uh, half hour session and uh, check out how, how well we've been running lately. I mean, it's been unreal. Look at all that green, just running hot lately. So uh, we're winning some flips, playing good, running good. And uh, it's been fun getting in the PLO. So let me know what you think with some of the play. Pretty standard probably for some of it, but a couple of questionable spots. Well, in for 200, out for 345, profit of 145. Went pretty smooth. And that's, I mean, you've seen those numbers. It's, it's been going pretty good and it wasn't always like that. I mean, this year has been kind of ups and downs, but finishing strong and uh, play good, run good. It's like 25 degrees out here, but there's no wind. It's kind of nice. So let me know what you think of uh, see if I should pump out some more of these. And uh, let's go home. Man, if I'd have brought my wallet, I'd get Subway on the way back. Knock on it. Maybe I can figure out this Apple Pay on my phone.